Uh, hello and welcome to Gunnar Weiskamp's web development. Um, yeah, so today we're in lesson 17, uh, part 1. Uh, this is going to be part 1 of Angular NG Grid. So NG Grid is an Angular component uh, that you can inject into your Angular code. Uh, it has predefined abilities which makes it much easier to create and use grid interfaces within Angular. Uh, this will be part one, as I've mentioned, uh, and we will de demonstrate a simple HTML page using Angular NG Grid. <coughs> so within all of that, um, if you're used to creating grid interfaces with NG Repeat and those sort of processes with Angular, uh, the, the NG Grid has a lot of inbuilt components that makes it easier. I, I don't like to. It has a lot of inbuilt functionality which lets you create and manipulate grid information. Um, in some sort of manner. I'm not going to say better because I don't always like it's, an, it's another level of learning that you need to do but it does things um, it allows you to manipulate grid information whether you're used to ng repeat uh, and using it uh, those sort of processes um, ng grid can maybe help out in those sort of areas uh, but I guess I've rambled on enough let's have a look uh, to create today's application I'm using Visual Studio 2013. So we've got here new. Uh, so to do that, to create today's application, do new project as shown in here in A, and then go here into B. Uh, I've got framework 4.5, and we are creating here in C an empty app. So make sure none of these are ticked, and we're just creating an empty app app, and we're injecting all our processes. Okay, so without any further ado let us bring up our empty app so there we are we've just got an empty app with no web page no mvc no nothing <coughs> so first step we are going to inject uh, our dependencies and it's going to be three uh, they will be jquery as well uh, angular and the ng grid um, component to make all this work so let's first i guess grab angular Come on, go on machine. Uh, it's a bit slow today. Okay, finally, Christ Almighty. Why didn't you pick up on Angular? Come on. Okay, doesn't want to play ball. Let's try that again. Right, finally here we are. Uh, and install. Over here, when uh, Angular is installing, you can see the it's going to build a script folder in here, uh, and in here is where all our Angular files are going to be uh, inserted. There they all go. We can see the Angular script coming in, where all the magic happens. Uh, so while we are here, let's grab the rest of the items. 
jQuery. And finally, but not least, ng grid. Now, there's a couple of that it'll come up here with ng grid. Make sure you select the right one, so you can get these mixed up with this one here, um, which is depending on the Angular JS core. But we want this one here, so click install. And that should be all our dependencies. Now, let's add a simple. Uh, HTML page. You can give it any name you want. I'm just going to keep it simple today. I'm not going to name it anything. <clears throat> now we're going to add our own. Well, let me get rid of that. Our own JavaScript file, which we're going to put some Angular code in. I traditionally call these files my app and we're eighty percent of the way there is real it is for what it does it's really quick and easy technology if you know a bit about angular if you know a bit about angular it's extremely easy technology to manipulate I find so let's grab this is my predefined example I'm going to grab the code from there to make all this a little bit easier we're going to put this in here. Uh, one thing I did forget to add. So, oops, did I see what I do there? I didn't press Control C correctly. Okay, this time round, and let. Uh, I'll, I'll bring back the code in two seconds, so I'm just going to create everything and then I'll have a brief discussion about the code. We still have to add a style sheet as well. <coughs> uh, JavaScript file. Um, so I forgot to add a style sheet as well. <coughs> Style. While it's going in there, we'll grab the style for that one. Now I'm not going to, to talk too much about about the style. I'm not a styling guru. More on the up the other side of this spectrum. Um, right. So we've got everything we need. That's it. Let's have a quick talk about the code. So to make all this work, we had to inject ng-grid. Angular and jQuery. Now um, we've had to add our HTML page here, a JavaScript file here which has Angular code in, and a style uh, sheet which makes everything look nice. Um, so first of all, so you have to in, uh, in, um, add your references to your scripts components here. You might always make sure. Well. The, the styles don't have to come first, but in this case we put them first. Um, and here we've got our jQuery coming next. Uh, we're referencing that from this area here, as you can see. And we're referencing our styles from our content area here, as you can see. Uh, next comes our Angular one. Now the Angular one does have to come before the ng-grid one and the my app one. So that's a little peculiar thing. And this one obviously is in our scripts folder as well. There it is. Uh, and our ng grid <coughs> JS is also in our styles folder here, so it's referenced from there. And our my app is also obviously somewhere in here, which is right there. So make sure you reference all um, our dependencies for this HTML page. Um, now we have to bind this HTML page to our Angular file, so I'm not going to talk too much about the ng app. All these components, they are mentioned, and I've talked about them in my other tutorials. But we've got here the my my app, uh, and this will 
correspond. Ooh, well, what, what, what I might do is there we go. We've got them side by side. So the my app here corresponds to this guy here. Every web page needs a my app, obviously. And then we've got our ng controller here, and this is referencing our controller action here, which is my films. Um, now the grid style is in our created style class here uh, and now we've got our special ng grid attribute which we've which we're using for this demo and it holds this grid options uh, object here which is referenced from here so that's how this technology sort of entwines with our angular technology here <coughs> so let's look at our javascript file uh, so obviously we start off here for our module we're referencing um, we're calling our module my app and we're injecting here our ng grid uh, components um, now we've got a controller I'm not going to get too much in controller please uh, see my other tutorial <coughs> and in here on the scope object we're creating an, another object which holds all our information that we want to display let's make that a little bit neater and as you can probably make out we're just showing film titles something everybody probably can identify with um, we're just showing film titles in the year that they were released Ob obviously it's all fictional um, now the first component of our grid options that we're playing here today is called the grid options and um, yeah so the grid options it gets past the information apart from other things but it gets past the information that you're going to display and it has this data object entwined with the grid object the data object has to hold the object that holds the information that you're showing and in this case remember our fat this is the object that holds the information that we want to show and we need to pass that object in here to the data object so the grid option can display that information uh, pretty straightforward I hope so um, as I said I'm not really going to explain the grid style too much I'm not a guru in that area but without this um, you'll find the grid will not display in a meaningful or nice manner so if we build that um, it's, it might seem quite magical but we get this effect here voila so we get this grid option just shown up here in front of us one thing that's built into the ng grid is the um, automatic ability to sort you can see that there um, and which works on both uh, rows um, if you're using ng repeat <coughs> to show show grid information you have to build that uh, sorting process in and this is what the ng grid comes with it comes with many predefined abilities already built in which makes uh, the ng grid quite useful to use and as you can see just from this process with this small amount of code if we inject the right components we have here easy to show grid information okay so that's it for today uh, just a simple demo on how ng grid works <coughs> But um, yeah, if, uh, feel free to visit my visit my website as well at uh, gunnawisecamp.com or feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, thanks for your time and hope to see you soon. Bye.